oceans cloud while foreclosures grow and folks can't pay their rent. The class that's in the middle is playing second fiddle to the wealthiest who are the one percent. We've seen the Arab Spring and the overthrow of kings. Wisconsin rallies weren't far behind. Now we are on our feet as we occupy Wall Street. We are living in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. Some say it is a curse, but we could change the universe, cause we're living in interesting times. A fiscal surplus had us confident when Clinton left as president eight years of Bush, and that went down the drain. Yes, we had some cash before we waged interminable war, and the deficit became our ball and chain. With this broken infrastructure, something's bound to rupture. Are we modern Rome in our decline? But rather than concede defeat, we take it to the street. We are living in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. Some say it is a curse, but we could change the universe. Cause we're living in interesting just don't care. They've moved most of the factories overseas. As the job market has flown, rising debt from student loans have graduates upset and ill at ease. CEOs work to figure out how to dismantle union clout. Someday there will be payback for their crime. Cause 99% you see is an extreme majority. We want democracy, and that's the bottom line. The Mayan prophecy is not a death decree. Omens point to moving forward toward the light. But we need collective strength to effect a global change. Then we'll truly live in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. Some say it is a curse, but we could change the universe, cause we're living in interesting times. Some say it is a curse, but we could change the universe, cause we're